Hi. Chances are, if you've done any kind of aseptic work, you have been asked to sterilize your work area. And chances are that what you did looked something like this. You spray down the work area with some 70% ethanol, and then you wipe it down uh, as completely as possible until you have a nice clean surface, right? So, did you actually sterilize your work area? Probably not. And there's two reasons for that. One is that ethanol, or 70% ethanol, doesn't actually sterilize anything. It disinfects. It's a minor distinction, but basically what it means is that it gets rid of any kind of living uh, microbes, but it doesn't take care of any of the endospores, and some classes of viruses are also not going to be affected by 70% ethanol. The other reason that you probably didn't do a very good job of sterilizing your work area is that you probably didn't really allow it to work properly. So let's go over how you really should, I guess, disinfect your work area before going into any kind of cell culture. So what you're going to do is you're going to take some 70% ethanol and a paper towel and you're going to generously apply the ethanol to the work area as here. Now, I didn't actually wipe off all the ethanol. What I did instead was spread it around to make a fairly even coat, and I'm allowing the ethanol to evaporate on its own. And that's really what does the killing action. Basically, what you need to do is, when you are disinfecting your work area, you need to uh, allow the ethanol to penetrate the cells that you're trying to kill. And that takes a little time, okay? and so. One of the reasons we're using 70% ethanol is that it allows for the penetration to happen. Uh, and then the evaporation itself is going to help to kill the cells, but also the fact that the ethanol is in there for a certain period of time is going to help to coagulate and denature the proteins inside the cells. And that's really what does the disinfection. Okay? So you do need to allow time for that evaporation to happen. Now keep in mind that if you are working in a biosafety cabinet or a laminar flow hood, there is constant flow of air over your work area or, or onto your work area, and that's going to allow that evaporation to happen much more quickly. So really there isn't as much of a need for really stringently wiping down the ethanol, okay? So just simply wipe very gently um, just to spread out the ethanol over the surface and then allow it to evaporate, okay? And you can see it in this video here, which was recorded on a bench, which you can actually see the evaporation much more easily. Now, the second thing about uh, sterilizing or disinfecting your work area and equipment in a BSC or in a laminar flow hood uh, is that you need to put an equipment into that work area. And before you do that, you need to disinfect that material as well. So quite often when you do see videos of people working in a laminar flow hood or BSC, uh, what you quite often see is that they will spray down the materials and put it inside the BSC. Uh, when they do this, they might just put it in directly, or they might wipe it down, or instead they might actually even just spray a paper towel directly. So they might take a paper towel, spray it down, and then take a test tube and wipe that test tube before putting it in. And that's all perfectly fine. So when do you wipe? When do you not wipe? Well, here's the thing. If you have something like this, a test tube rack, okay, it's going to be very difficult to really wipe it completely, and you really don't need to anyway. So what I usually do is just spray it down, give it a good spray, um, let me just do that off camera. Spray it down on all sides, so it's wet on all sides. Now because it has a specific shape to it, it has many holes, it's pretty easy to hold on to, and I won't be handling it inside the, the BSC, I don't need to be lifting it. I can just take it in and put it in like this. Now, I'm just talked over it, so I'm gonna have to spray it down again, but. There. Now, for other components, like 
like media bottles, for example. These are fairly large, uh, and once you spray them down, and they are completely soaked, they can be quite slippery. Okay, and this is where I would take a paper towel and wipe it down. So start at the top, near the opening especially, and then wipe down the sides. Just, again, you're not trying to remove all the ethanol, you're simply trying to make it a little easier to handle. So again, you're spreading the ethanol evenly over the surface, and then we're going to allow it to just evaporate once it's inside the DSC. So I'm not trying to remove all the ethanol, I am simply trying to get it covered evenly. Okay, so let me try that again, just because, again, I kept talking. And same goes for test tubes. Again, just spray it down. Make sure that the top, especially the part that's the opening, is well sterilized or disinfected, I guess. And just do that again. Wipe it down gently just to spread out the ethanol and put it inside. Again, because there's airflow inside there, it's going to help the, eva the ethanol evaporate much more easily. And so that's where the disinfection is actually going to take place. Okay, I hope this has been helpful. We'll see you in the next video.